I don't think anybody expected a school in West Kendall to have so many new students. My school probably has the largest number of newly arrived Haitian students. I thought we would have three or four, and that grew three or four every day. So I had, I guess th when we got to 30, um, we, de we decided that um, we needed to do an orientation. Um, it wasn't enough that I met with them and welcomed them and showed them around and buddied them now. They needed to get acculturated to the American school system. I'm learning, but it's kind of stuff that I did before, or it's either just, you know, simpler because the kids, you know, there's more kids. And so it's kind of like, you know, it, it's easier for me. So um, I, like, homework doesn't take long. And there isn't really homework at, at all, actually. I only have three classes a day. I went from having eight classes a day to three. And some of them come from very tiny schools with three or four hundred kids. Um, one of them said his whole class had left and there were 17. You know, our senior class is 800. Physics. So it, it's great that they found a niche where they can feel comfortable and speak in their native language and, and reminisce about the loss, but celebrate the new successes that they're having. I never thought that Tuesday, the January 12th, would be my last day at Union School. Mm -hmm. Last time seeing some of my friends. Some of them went to Connecticut, Canada. I mean, just spread out. Whenever you have family, you go. Uh, I cried. I don't think I've shed tears like that in my life because it was like, it's like reality hits you, you know? Um, a lot of friends, they're just like, you know, they're gonna feel it later. Like I said the other day in the Haitian gathering, you know, it felt like a dream and I'm, I still feel like I'm waiting to wake up. Me, you know, my house is fine. I have family members are fine. But you have other people that literally lost everything. Like, I have some friends, their dad's business is down, their house is down, the bank that has their money is down. So, you know, even though all this is happening, just say thank God, you know. I want school to be a safe place for them, where even if they still feel tremors, that for a little while they forget about the pain that they've experienced. So even though that they're in school and behaving and doing great, I'm sure that they're still feeling it and, and they'll be feeling it forever.